I so I picked up a new collection. Let's dig into it. Up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, comic book community. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. And before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that great stuff. We have reached 4,000 subscribers. I will be announcing the prize package very soon uh, for the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. We're going to have four different prize packages. Um, and so stay tuned. We're going to take a video from April. We'll do the giveaway at the beginning of May. Also, uh, I am on other socials, Instagram at Bronzeville underscore comics. You can reach out to me there. I'm also on eBay or on whatnot at Bronzeville underscore comics. We do sales every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. We have a nice little uh, sale of a lot of key books coming up tomorrow night, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern. So follow us there. If you've not yet signed up with whatnot, you can use the link in the description of this video to get $10 off your first purchase with me or with anyone else. Doesn't matter. Uh, so you can sign up through that link in the description. Also in the description is a link to my email address, my eBay store, and um, let's get started. So I picked up this collection, and uh, it was a box of comics, silver and bronze almost entirely, and uh, I, I'm just going to dig through it, and we're going to see what we get. You're going to kind of come on this journey with me through the surprises and the disappointments and whatever else, uh, I know a lot of you uh, kind of enjoy this kind of video. I try to angle it so that you can kind of see the entire book or most of the book, at least the trade dress, the number and stuff um, in the video. But it's hard as I'm reading to also like kind of make sure it's on camera. Do my best. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, so I, I bought a collection uh, yesterday and it was... Um they said about 150 to 200 comics. Um, the guy I bought it from met him at his place. He said other people had called him. It's essentially all silver and bronze, or almost all silver and bronze. And um, said 150 to 200 books. I'm thinking 200 is probably a good uh, estimate. Um, we'll see how much of this short box I fill up. Uh, if I have to I'll do another one. Um, so we're going to go through this. This is just the first step in the process to see what we have. I did go through all the books. Um, nothing enormous in here. Um, no Hulk 181 or ASM 129 or anything like that. Uh, it's more DC than Marvel. So the first step, I'm going to transfer the books, just get them out of this box and put them into one or two short boxes. Uh, and then I'm going to have to go through each book, do a grading on it, do a bag of boarding on it. Um, and then, you know, price it out, see what I want to keep and, and do kind of, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about um, my thought process um, in terms of what I might want to keep versus what I want to move on. So, um, yeah, so this this was the, the batch. Um, Korak, uh, son of Tarzan, number 48. This could be a keeper. I have to check. Um, this is a DC 72 book. So that might um, go into that part of my collection. Nice Blackhawk uh, checkerboard, later Blackhawk. Uh, some Jimmy Olsen. This is a decent book, a Green Lantern. These books are in, you know, uh, mid-grade, kind of, what is that number, uh, 50, 50. A lot of these are not bagged. Some of them are bagged. Ghosts, 13. That's pretty cool. That'll um, likely go into my Bronze Age horror batch. This uh, staple's really rusty. 393 Action Comics, lower grade. Uh, this is an unusual, more modern book. Um, but that's not really worth it. Same with this. I, this is the second Game Marauders I've come across in different collections. Well, these Blackhawks, I actually think I picked these books up um, like a dollar, a dollar bin lately because... Bronze and Modern Gods had done a spotlight on these um, these stories when they rebooted the title. And so I'm picking it up on the low key. So that could go into a PC. Um, we'll see. Nice 15 cent flash. Number 200. Tarzan. Uh, 247. Commandy. 
number three. Um, so Jimmy Olsen, 86. A Brave and the Bold with Eclipso, 64. These uh, DC Special Wanted, I've had this before. Now, this is kind of where I have to make a decision. I don't think that's an upgrade over my PC. Justice League 95. Um, Superman 314. I do have to check some of these action comics. 398. Green Lantern. Oops, sorry. Green Lantern appearance in 444. I have a large run of action comics. 442. Neil Adams cover. But it, I can never get this in decent shape. This is missing a chunk of the cover. Uh, 366. I've gotten that in collections before. Um, Jimmy Olsen. It's like 94. New Adventures of Superboy 7. That's... Uh, is this one of the, um, no, it just has a bonus Superman story. I was thinking it's thicker and, yeah, that's, that's dollar bin fodder all day long. Um, Titano Superman 324. That, I'm, I'm not sure I have this. I collect these Bicentennial covers. Blackhawk uh, 223 and 2223s. That's interesting. Curious. Jimmy Olsen. 112, 113, 80 page giant. Uh, I believe this is a Neil Adams cover of Superboy 148. I might, I think I have this. Uh, I've been putting together the, uh, a Superman family collection 178. Uh, Super, Super, uh, Jimmy Olsen 112, another Korak. This is, I think, from 1973. Nice Joe Kubert cover. Uh, this, I think this is a Neil Adams cover. 365, this does have some minor significance. Um, Metal Men 27, a lot of, ton of foxing on the back there. That could be like one of these books I experiment on to staining and this is a pretty decent shape. Uh, 214, I, I think that's a 73 book, also foxing. You're gonna see that a lot. This is lower grade, this Neil Adams cover. Um, that's a shame. I uh, can't tell the number there. That's kind of... Looks like it was never printed on there. A Marvel Tarzan. Superman 312. Another Korak. Tarzan. Korak. Metamorpho. Number 8. That's a nice book. That looks to be in reasonably good shape. Superman 322. Blackhawk 245. Ooh, uh, this is lower grade, a lot missing here in that, but A House of Mystery 146. This is with uh, Martian Manhunter in the title. Black Magic number four. These were reprints of um, Golden Age DC horror stories. I think a lot of them by Kirby. Another Kubert cover, Korak 51. Ah, here's a nice one. Batman 199. So the Batmans are always good. Showcase 82 with Nightmaster. That's, showcase was just about to be canceled. Um, this looks to be in reasonably good shape. Batman, what number is that? 167. Uh, Batman 182, 80 page giant. Detective 435, that's a little beat up. This isn't bad, Action 404. Superman 15 Center 224. This is a nice uh, book, this world's finest. I believe this is the first meeting of Supergirl and Batgirl in World's Finest 176. That's a, a minor key. Definitely need to rebag and board all of these. Um, Karate Kid, number five. Uh, Superboy, 124. It's kind of rough. Um, Jimmy Olsen, 114. Action, 268. Two Gun Kid, 85. Another copy of this, Justice League 86, Batman 174. It didn't have like, you know, the 181 or any of the, the big keys. This is lower grade, 205, but still, you know, 12, 15 cent Batmans. Detective 366, 
Action Comics 337. Early, a 12 cent Superman 154 with Mr. Mixer's Pitalik. That is the correct pronunciation as far as I am concerned. Or Mixer's Pitlick. Uh, Secret Origins 3. Adam and Hawkman 39. Action 389. Action 382. Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane 109. Tom, Son of Tomahawk 135. Sandman, uh, number one. There were two copies of this in there. These are mid-grade. Um, this is a Simon and Kirby collaboration. Our Fighting Forces 72. That's pretty early, 12th center. This, uh, not exactly a 9-8 kind of. Not, that, not bad for this book, considering it's not back and board, but it is foxed on the back. Um, nice 12 cent flash, 179. Astonishing Tales, number one. Um, speaking of, okay, should have another of these Sandman books. Unfortunately, neither of these are the purple cover. Um, there was, I guess, like just a, the way the ink misprinted, uh, there was a purple cover of this action 388, 390, Jimmy Olsen. What is that, 67? Hard time seeing that with a, a, a Jimmy Olsen ventriloquist dummy. Yeah, can't beat that. This, I have to see if this is a PC upgrade. I collect these 100 pagers. This is Superman 252, but it has um, two numberings, DC 13 and Superman 252. And I'll just make a note here. This is a 100 page spectacular number six. So both of these have Neil Adams wraparound covers. Um, they're, I don't wanna take them out of the bags right now, but uh, both of these have Neil Adams wraparound covers, uh, which are really cool. Um, this is a little bit damaged. I don't, I think the one I have is nicer than this. Um, I collect these. So DC starting in 71 and the numbering, I think it started with number three. There was a, a horror book that was the first hundred page super spectacular. And for the most part, they were numbered like DC three, DC four, DC five, DC six. Um, and they were separate from the, um, main title. And then at some point they went to, they, they continued that numbering, and in addition, um, they were part of the main run of the title. So there's like there's like a Superman before this that is not part of the Superman title, and they were printed the month they came out. Um, they were like an extra story. Um, Lois Lane 107, Jimmy Olsen 126, some catalog of toys that these would have been toys that I would have bought as a kid. Definitely these, the, the Sons of Origins book and its predecessor, um, Origins of Marvel Comics, are, were essential reading as a kid. 395 Action Comics, 424, a, a cover, no back cover on that Walt Disney. Uh, this is a Western reprint. Okay, that's not terrible. And that looks to be in, yeah, it's, it's really, like, look at that heavy foxing up there. Um, Superboy 181. This is a 1972 book. I'm pretty sure I have that. Action 362. Oh, a Space Family Robinson. I have a bunch of those. A Turok, a 12 cent Turok. Another Korak. This seemed to be a popular part of the collection. Treasure Chest. It's low grade. Action 323. So a lot of action comics, a lot of Superman related titles, which were, oh, look at that. That's such a shame. Trade Dress Missing. This, I'm not sure the issue number. It's Tales to Astonish. Actually, it looks like there are two books in here. So this is Tales to Astonish. Um, I'm trying to see the number there. Uh, DC was much better printing. This is 83. Tales to Astonish 83. And then a Coverless Monkeys book. It's actually... Number 13, so if it was Monkeys 1, that would have been a very, very much a shame. Those TV titles. Um, Justice League 92, Bring the Bolt 101. This is nice. There are a couple of these Neil Adams, Early Dead Man. 215, Action 383, another Batman, that's cool. 195, Lois Lane 100. 
There was no 70. Green Lantern 73. Okay, that's a good book. Oh, a nice um, Wonder Woman 202. Lower grade, but with the Catwoman. Eternals 1. That would have been a nice book to have a couple of years ago. There is some foxing on there. Um, it's a 25 cent, not 30 cent price variant. Black Panther 3. Okay. I don't know what that is. Batman 212. Anytime I've seen a Batman here, I'm happy. Wonder Woman 198. Um, well, I don't know if I have this one. I think I need that. Oh, wow. That's, I didn't even realize this was here. Batman 157. Tape on it. But 12 cent Batman. Awesome. Forever People 11. Action 357. Once I get these all cataloged, I'm really going to have to spend some time going through um, my personal collection to see what I'm missing. Especially the titles I collect, like Action. Um, no, uh, Superman 213, Action 440, 434, 377, Challengers of the Unknown 77. That's a nice book. Action 386, uh, 4, it looks like 450. The flap has to be placed back over if you look. Superman 211, uh, Action 439, Jimmy Olsen 119. Oh! It's, this is in bad condition, but wow. Let's look at this book. Huh. This seems, I'm, I'm just a little nervous that it's not complete. <laughs> it is low grade. But, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Centerfold. <laughs> this is the, the famous I Am Curious Black story. One, two. Other than the Batmans. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, wait, I can make sure, I don't know if I miscounted. That would be a shame. I mean, it is low grade. It's like what, maybe a three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Oh, there's something missing. Gosh darn it. Wouldn't you know it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's a page missing. Go, yeah, that figures. Fortunately, I didn't like really make the deal based on that book. <laughs> Action 364. Our Fighting Force is 79. Jimmy Olsen 121. Brave and the Bull 106. Blackhawk 249. Jimmy Olsen 120. Bring the bowl 148. That's kind of late for what's in here. Action 401. No back cover. Korak 52. I'm really going to have to do some counting. The Adventure of Bayou Billy, number five. Timmy the Timid Ghost, number one. Iron Jaw, number one. Man Stalker, number two. Uh, Marvel New Universe Justice 20. Marvel Tales, 184. Our Fighting Forces, 102. Marvel Tales 64, Marvel Team of 47, and the World of Jughead 178. So I'm pretty much, oh, I didn't even put all these, I don't want, I stopped, didn't go through the rest of that pile. So the first box is kind of full here, this first short box. I'm going to put a few more in, I'll put World of Jughead on top, please, well, I'll put a few more in there just to fill it up. I'm really disappointed with that Lois Lane book that it's missing a page. That is, of all the stupid things. Like, who took a page out of Lois Lane? Ah, that is so annoying. Um, these I didn't finish going through because I want to look at the Lois Lane book and disappoint myself. Tarzan 218, Forever People 8. That's good. Uh, Superboy 145, Action 422, Lois Lane 66. It's an early one. Jimmy Olsen 100, Jimmy Olsen 80. Our Fighting Forces 101, Neil Adams cover, Superboy 168. I'm not sure if that's Adams or not. 
143. That is, I believe this is Neil Adams, 153. And then the final few books, or at least I can put this box in recycling. Action 384, World's Finest, 192, Batman 183, where he's watching himself on TV. Strange Adventures 211, Challengers of the Unknown 69, and Action Comics 283. So it's probably about 150 books or so. I probably paid $3 and change a book. Um, would have been really happy with that Lois Lane book being at least complete, even if it was low grade. But that's what happens sometimes when you get books in the wild. I'm going to, I guess when I go and grade these, I'm going to really have to do thorough page counts because that was weird that it was missing a page in the front half of the book. Um, usually you miss a wrap or like part of a page, but, um, say la vie. Uh, let me know what you think of the, the haul here and, um, put that in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up. And until next time, this is Jim saying, enjoy your comics.